<sighs> Another great episode. Welcome back to my to my series of spoiler reviews for the Amazon Prime show Invincible. I'm Terrell Aaron Kloss. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, and if you haven't, then welcome. Uh, I appreciate you stopping by to hear me run my mouth. <laughs> All right, now before we begin, um, give me give me a nice little thumbs up on this video, if you will, and also make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring that bell too, so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video. Okay. All right. So now let's dive on in, like we're Aquaman, but this ain't DC. This is Invincible. Whoever Invincible is, man. Alright, so this episode, this, these are all spoilers too. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. So you have been warned. Okay. So now, episode two, um, it began with Agent Cecil, the gray haired looking guy with the funny looking mouth. He invest. he went to the headquarters of the Global Guardians. Um, I, in my mind, I'm calling them the Guardians of the Globe because I'm thinking of Guardians of the Galaxy, but I think it's just the Global Guardians. <laughs> uh, so Agent Cecil Stedman went to the headquarters of the Global Guardians and to find out what happened to them. And he finds everyone is, has been savagely like murdered and just slaughtered. And Omni-Man is the only one that's still alive, but he looks beaten and battered too um, because he was, as we saw the, at the end of the last episode. You know, the team put up put up a pretty good fight, but not good enough, apparently. <laughs> so, Agent Cecil Stedman and his, and his team, they found the, the, um, the deceased uh, heroes at their headquarters, and they wanted to find out what was going on, so they took Omni-Man back to the secret facility, um, put him in the hospital that's in, within that facility, contacted Debbie, the mom, and then Mark, Invincible, um, let them know what was going on. They went to go visit them. Meanwhile, Mark is trying to get used to his powers and everything. Um, he really benefited a lot from from his dad teaching him how to fly and whatnot and teaching him about how to use his powers respons responsibly. Um, so he's, he's pretty much getting the hang of this whole superhero thing. But while his dad is in the hospital, and since the Guardians have been killed, there's not really anyone left to protect the world. So, um, Invincible or Mark, Invincible, he goes, he goes and stops, tries to stop this alien invasion. Um, you know, he he was kind of successful in the beginning, but then he kind of just needed help, and he and help arrived. Lucky for him and for the Earth. Um, this team, I forgot the team's name, but. Uh, there is this girl named Eve uh, was wearing like her name is Adam Eve, but she just goes by Eve in a nice pink suit. I love her logo too, the female logo, female gender logo. It's pretty cool. And um, there's robots, and then there's this guy named like 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 Rex something. He throws out these explosives or like fireworks, like Jubilee and Boom Boom from the X Men. Um, and who else is there? Uh, there's a few other people there too, but um. But I love how Eve and Mark become friends and, you know, they meet up in school. They're like, wait a minute, you're the one who saved me. And Eve is like, wait a minute, you're the one that was in the blue and yellow mask and stuff? And Mark's like, yeah, that was me. I'm invincible. And Eve's like, hmm, it's pretty optimistic of you to name yourself that, but okay. <laughs> uh, so I really love, I really love that their interaction, you can tell that they're going to be together eventually. If not in this, if, if not in the next episode, then definitely, um, down the road so so you see Eve's boyfriend get a bit jealous of Invincible when he sees the dynamic between Eve and Mark it's really really funny it's totally like cliche um, so Omni-Man wakes up and he's like what's been going on and Mark's like I've been trying to save the world you know while you were out of, while you're out of commission dad and stuff like that and um, Omni Man, he just continues to be very, very off putting. And I can't tell if that's his personality or if he's still being controlled. Because I still don't know why he killed the, the, the Global Guardians, the Guardians of the Globe. Don't know why he did that. Don't know if he was controlled, if someone's messing with his personality. You know, a la Jean Grey and Jason Wingard from the X Men and whatnot. Um, like, I don't know what's going on with him, but he's incredibly rude to that receptionist at the hospital. Just incredibly rude. Like, give me my suit. Make sure it's dry cleaned or something. Caesar something like that. I was like, huh? And I wish that his wife, Debbie, would have checked him. You know, she checks him any other time. She should have checked him right then and there and said, wait a minute, this lady works here. Don't talk to her like that. You know, hopefully he would have fell in line. Now, I'm sure he would have, but I don't know. I'm not really a fan of Omni-Man, um, but I think he's a daddy. He's totally a daddy. I mean, they drew him. They animated him quite well. Love the way he looks. I used to know a guy who looks like that, too. Um, total daddy. <laughs> um, he could play Omni-Man in real life, too, with the gray hair and the military cut and the mustache and everything. 
Um, it's funny how Mark's friend William uh, called Omni Man a daddy, and Mark, you know, William, William doesn't know that Omni Man is Mark's father. Mark was like, um, uh, can't re don't really want to see my dad as a daddy. You know, he didn't tell um, he didn't tell William that though, but he, you can tell he was thinking it though, like, oh, my dad is a daddy. Oh, cringe. <laughs> so funny. Um, so, with this episode, it was really, really cool with the alien invasion. I love robots and voiced by Zachary Quinto. Again, use that sidebar on Amazon to see um, see the cast, the, the voice cast behind the scenes. You can just roll your mouse over the, over the side, over the left side of the screen, and it shows you everyone who's, who's in the scene and um, the characters and the actors behind the characters. Really, really cool. Uh, so I, I really thoroughly enjoyed this episode, loved it even more than the first episode, I love where it's going. Um, I think that um, Omni-Man is going to become a problem, and I'm starting to think that maybe he's not being controlled, but then part of me thinks that maybe he is being controlled. Um, I don't really know what's going to happen, but if he gets mad, everyone better look out, because he's like Superman, he just he's completely OP. and. He's just, I don't know, Mark might have to fight him, somebody might have to fight him, I don't know, but uh, right now the government is surveilling him because they kind of think that, you know, um, Agent Cecil with the gray hair, he thinks, he let it be known that he thinks that Omni-Man probably killed the entire, like, Global Guardians, and Omni-Man's onto him. Omni-Man pretty much said, like, you think I did it? Like, what are you trying to say? You know, so they haven't really said, so Cecil hasn't really said it out loud, yeah, I think you killed the Guardians. You know, but Omni-Man can tell that he thinks it, and we all can tell he thinks it as well. So, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what episode 3 is going to be like. I'm sure you are too. You might have already seen it, but um, look out for my review of that shortly today. So, but until then, um, you can follow me on Instagram if you can, or if you want to, at creative underscore Kloss. And if you like this video, make sure you... <laughs> like this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring that bell too so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video and again look out for that new video of my spoiler review for episode 3 of season 1 of Invincible coming at you shortly and you can check out episode, my episode 1 review as well if you haven't already and you can also check out another video for me right now and zoom zap bam, bam.